So we are ready to leave to the airport. Yeah, our flight is by 3 p.m. But um, we are leaving by 11. Yeah. Yep. So the car is filled up. So filled up. I'm going to wait at the reception. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know that. Very good. Very good. Very Where's your own jacket? Okay, okay. Like Hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Where's our own? Oh, well, I'm going to try to eat it. So, guys, we are at airport right now. Akani Biam International Airport. So, we are going to check in. Yup. That's our luggage. Yeah, cross, cross, cross. Stand up. At the point of entrance, I don't know who these people were. I don't know if they are the border officers, but they were searching my bags and at the same time asking me questions if I have some contraband items inside my luggage, some liquid, red oil, some poultry products, some dairy products, and I said no, so they transferred me to the next stage.
guys, the airport is a bit busy today. Sorry, I know it's heavy. We'll soon drop it. I said I know it's heavy. We'll soon drop it. Too. Very soon. So after the border officers finished searching our luggages and asking questions, they transferred it to the second point of contact right here, which is the immigration, the NDLEA, the EFCC, and the DSS. So these people were practically searching all our luggages. Like they did not leave any stone unturned. They were searching to the point, even my hair products, they poured it to sniff it. Any liquid they see, hair oil, they will pour it, they will sniff it. So as in like, even to my hair extensions, guys, if you are coming with your hair extensions, even I know it's for personal use, just please remove the packs. Like if it's above 30, these people will think you are coming to Canada to sell it and they will collect money from you. The mistake I made, I would have removed the packs, the labels and just packed them inside the nylon. So these people were searching and searching and searching and brought out all our food items. I ended up losing one bag of my egusi, about three painters I poured inside a single nylon. And I know somebody here stole it. One of them must have stolen it. Here, the children are already tired because the searching was taking a lot of time. They are feeling sleepy. They can't wait to get on the plane. Oh my God, it's really, really, really exhausting. Like, checking in is not your mate, bro. You are super tired. <laughs> see your face, see your face. <laughs> hmm? Say hi. So they are wrapping our bags over there. Yeah. So those are our luggages, they are wrapping it all. After we are done checking in our luggages, we came to check in ourselves. And then this, my husband's boss, Mr. Etuka, he has been with us all through this journey. And he has been so amazing. So um, at this point, uh, they, he was not allowed to cross this point after we checked ourselves in. So this is Hobby going to bid him farewell. They hugged. Hobby was radically crying, although he was trying to form manly, but... It was quite emotional for him. And here I am checking in myself and then crossing over to the other side to go wait for our plane. Yeah, so that is basically what is going on here. After we finished checking in ourselves and the kids, they referred us to the custom set to come check in. It's only the adults that are allowed to check in. So the kids were seated down. They asked us if we are traveling with physical cash. We said yes. They asked us how much. We declared it. And of course, they searched our hand luggages. <laughs> My kids are over there.
just arrived and we are about to go on. that feeling you're among the last to enter a place and everybody is quietly seated and they are all staring at you walking in that is just the way i'm feeling right now it's like as if let the grand open and swallow me oh my god this is such a very big plane and it was quite new from the seats down to the pillows and the air hostess they all look the same and this is just me right here sitting with my family waiting for us to take off i can't wait to enjoy this experience canada here we come <laughs> It's time for food. Yes, yeah, so it's time for food. So this is what they gave us. my god if you ask me to rate this food right now to be modest i'll rate it four over ten like the food was tasting bland like the rice was so strong the vegetables look at my daughter's face she doesn't want to eat it she said mommy i don't like this food can i have something else but girl you have to eat it's a long flight you have to put something in your stomach she was like can you remove all those things i don't like it well i ended up giving her mine We are traveling with kids especially the minors just get ready to be receiving such complaints and inconveniences because they'll be giving it to you back to back it's a long flight remember just prepare yourself
I just finished having my lunch with a cup of juice to step it down. It was quite a very long lunch. I took my time to eat this. Did I finish my food? Well, see for yourself. Remember I said it's a very long flight. And here I am taking a nap. At this point, the plane was already getting super duper cold. I had to quickly wear the kids their winter jacket so they can stay warm. I was feeling super cold, especially on my legs. Despite the fact I was on socks, I was still feeling cold. So I had to use the blankets they gave us inside the plane to cover up my legs. And that is hobby, still on winter jackets like it was super cold. It took about 5 hours thereabouts getting to Addis Ababa. So as we just arrived at this Ababa, something happened. We left Enugu around 3 p.m. and this flight was supposed to be 4 hours, 50 minutes to 5 hours flight. So I'm supposed to be seeing 7, um, 7.50 p.m. there about, right? We left around 3 p.m. and then we're supposed to at least arrive around 7.50 p.m. And then I'm checking my phone and I'm seeing around 9.50 PM and I'm wondering, hey, what just happened? And then I discovered that my phone automatically reformatted to the current time of Addis Ababa, which is they are two hours ahead of Nigerian time. So guys, it was a shock to me. Guys, it's raining in Addis Ababa. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, this is me almost falling off from the escalator, holding our hand luggage side by side. Like, you needed to see the way my kids were laughing at me. I said I was not going to edit this part. Like, I'm going to leave it right here. It's part of the experience, right? <laughs> Hi guys, 
we are in Addis Ababa right now. So we are going to our connecting flight to Dublin. <laughs> See her heart is red. Guys, we are in Addis Ababa. Walk fast, walk fast. So this is us hurrying up to go check ourselves in to the next connecting flight to Dublin. We went through customs, they searched our hand luggages, they searched us, asked us if we have any cash on us. We said yes and declared it before we boarded the next flight to Dublin. Hi guys, so we boarded another connecting flight to Dublin, so we are leaving Addis Ababa to Dublin. Immediately all the passengers were settled in, they served us dinner, this is white rice with tomato sauce, Blah. I don't even know what it tastes like, but then we have to eat, it's a long flight, and then there is this thing that looks like pap, oh my god, but it tastes more like vanilla and chocolate, so don't look at the face, just eat it, and then this rice, oh my god, is a no-no for me, if you see it, please, Blah. just toss it away, okay? And then this is just dinner and of course, bon appetit, I have to eat. You see this particular rice I'm pointing at? Somebody call 911. Please don't eat it if you see it inside Ethiopia airline. Oh my god, I don't even know what it tastes like. This one, I'm just forcing myself to eat this rice. Like, I don't know. How can we pay that kind of money with all this re -re -re and the fees you are doing on this plane? And then you are serving us rubbish. Oh my god. The food is nothing to write home about. I don't like it. I don't like it. happened Sida started having stomach upset while eating her food like her stomach was practically biting her and it was really inconveniencing the little girl oh my god
So the plane just landed Dublin to pick up more passengers before we head to Toronto. We didn't come down from this plane. This plane is actually going straight to Toronto, but it stopped over at Dublin to pick up more passengers. This flight from Addis Ababa to Dublin lasted about 8 hours 23 minutes, meaning that we left around past 10 and then we got there around 5 in the morning. <laughs> At this point, the passengers stopping at Dublin have already departed the plane and the plane has taken off to Toronto. This flight is going to last about 7 hours 30 minutes. And of course, for breakfast, they served us buns with some butter and a cup of juice. I don't know whether this is breakfast or snack. I don't know what it is. It's like um, bread and pineapple juice. Later that morning, they brought um, food, rice with um, beef stew, shredded beef, and then there are some cookies, some buns with butter, and then there is this salad with a cup of juice that we had for breakfast. And see that ordered white rice with chicken sauce, and then cookies, buns, um, juice, and water. This year chicken is more or less like, would I call it a premature chicken? I don't even know what it is, but we have to eat. It's a long flight. We don't have a choice. Hi guys, so we are approaching Toronto. We just landed Toronto International Airport. This flight took about 7 hours 30 minutes from Dublin. This is us getting down from the plane. This plane is so so beautiful. Very neat. So big. Hi guys. We are in Toronto. Yes, 
After we came down from the plane, we walked straight to go check ourselves in. Oh my god, the queue was long. So this is a self-check-in. Um, we declared how much we have on us because you have to declare if it's above $10,000. We also declared how many family members we are going with. We scanned all our documents, our COPR, our passports. And then we are ready for the immigration. Oh my God, the queue was so long. Like we had to wait about one hour, 30 minutes, or even two hours here queuing up to wait for the immigration to attend to us. Can't believe my hobby was slippers from Nigeria to Canada. Oh my God. Hey guys. So we are at immigration right now. Immigration Canada. We're trying to clear ourselves so we can be able to enter into Canada. Look at what happened to my clothes. My winter jacket got ripped while I was coming down from the plane. At this point, you need to be very patient, super nice, comport yourself. So Hobby um, is over there checking in with the immigration because uh, if you don't hear welcome to Canada from them, just know that you're not in Canada yet. Like you are in Canada, but you have not crossed over to the other side. So you really need to wait for them to check you a your passport, your COPR and stamp and say welcome to Canada. Then that time you can start dancing and jubilating. So this is us waiting. So I didn't capture when they called me over, asked me a couple of questions before stamping our COPR and then the immigration lady said, Welcome to Canada! After we are done with the immigration, we came down to the baggage carousel to pick up our luggages and boom, look at them on the floor. Guys, so we just came and saw our bags scattered. Like, I don't know what happened. At this time, baby girl can never be angry. <laughs> Nobody can make me angry. I mean, I'm a permanent resident here in Canada. It's choke. <laughs> wow. So we decided to get a big trolley so everything can enter inside. So we can take it to our boarding flight. Here we are checking in our bags into the last connecting flight from Toronto to Regina with the Canadian customs. I think the machine dictated my red oil that was frozen. I think it was melting at this point, but she decided to wave it to go be the glory. Guys, so um, we are about boarding Air Canada to Regina. So this is going to be our last flight. I'm super, super, super tired. I'm super tired. The kids are super tired too. This is all seated waiting for our flight to Regina. So we waited about three hours for our flight to Regina. Wahala. So I'm here to use the restroom. I don't even know where to flush this. <laughs> I have come to Canada. <laughs> Village care. I've come to cut that. <laughs> All right, guys. At least I figured out how to flush it, so I can use it now. Once again, thank you and welcome aboard. Hi, guys. So we're about leaving for China. 
Mesdames et Messieurs, encore une fois, bienvenue à bord de Canada et merci tout particulièrement aux membres Aéroplan pour votre loyauté. Si vous n'êtes pas déjà membre, renseignez-vous sur les nouvelles fonctionnalités, niveaux privilèges formidables et adhérez-vous dès aujourd'hui à aircanada.com. Encore une fois, nous vous remercions d'avoir choisi Air Canada et nous vous souhaitons tous la bienvenue sur le vol à destination de Regina. Notre équipage est heureux de vous servir en français et en anglais. Le gouvernement fédéral du Canada exige que tous les passagers âgés de plus de deux ans portent un couvre-visage en tout temps à bord. Cette règle s'applique à tous les voyageurs, y compris ceux qui sont vaccinés. Merci d'avoir choisi Air Canada. I go to Toronto and I look down seeing beautiful clouds, warm weather. Then coming to Regina, I'm looking down and I'm seeing ice everywhere from up and I'm like, do people actually live here? We are here Regina. Canada code is not your mate. This one is sweet, but then come on. Jesus! Guys, Canada code is not your mate. Are you for real? Immediately we landed Regina. This thing you are seeing right here, they came to pick us. They are from Redeemed Christian Church of God. We connected with them from Nigeria. They came to pick us from the airport. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, like, oh, 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 what can you say about this code? Oh, 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 it just, oh, oh, just slapped oh, us in the face. <laughs> just a, oh, what can you say about the code? Do you like the code? No! <laughs> I did not say about this code! <laughs> I miss this song when it comes. Oh, you are right. But last, last, we die here. Oh my! 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 Oh what else do you have? I have four couples.